What's up YouTube, my name is Prince Mason, I'm a photographer and filmmaker based in Lagos, Nigeria and today I'll be showing you how I retouch my fashion portraits. Now, big shout out to my friend Lex Ash, um, you can follow him on Instagram at the Lex Ash. Um, he provided this portrait of this beautiful model and um, today we're going to be editing it the way I would edit my fashion portrait. Now this was for his um, vintage wedding series I guess, so I talked to him and told him to send me one of the images so I could um, use it as a tutorial for um, you guys. Now, I use frequent separation and right here I already created my layers, but I'm just going to delete this. How I do my frequent separation is through an action I downloaded online, so I'm just going to click that. I like it. Um, click OK and um, yeah, delete my check layer because I don't need it most times. Then I'll pick my mixer brush tool. Now, all I have to do is zoom into my image and um, clean up her skin. Now, the image is not too sharp. So um, I am not going to like waste too much time trying to clean up her skin. Most of the things I'll do would be via frequent separation and dodge and burn. So I'm just going to blend in her skin a little bit. Now if you want to learn this technique, I have a video on my channel showing um, how to uh, do this particular technique. So um, you can check that out too and um, yeah, and just learn how to use the mixer brush tool with frequent separation. Now, like I said, I'm not going to spend too much time um, editing this image because um, obviously this is for a tutorial and like I say in all my tutorials, if I had more time or if um, this was um, like a paid project or a personal project, I'll spend more time um, on the image. So let's see what we've done here. Um, yeah, that, that looks better. Just gonna do that a few more times, just blending the um, highlights and shadows. Now this uh, model obviously has some um, uh, blemishes on her skin, so we're gonna take care of that pretty soon. Um, I'm just gonna smooth in the hands right here. Now you can decide to use a brush for this technique if you want. I know a lot of people that uh, prefer using brushes but I like to mix a brush it's a very convenient tool to use um, in Photoshop so yeah um, you can just skip this part if you already know this part so okay let's see how how come okay Pretty far, pretty far. Image looks better already. So uh, now I'm going to pick my clone stamp tool. Zoom into the image. Uh, make sure um, I'm on current layer. Then um, I reduce the size. So now I'm working on my high frequency separation layer. Um, when I used the mixer brush, I was working on the low frequency separation layer. So I'm just going to take this out. Um, the blemishes on the skin. Um, this right here, right here. Hey, I'm going to take out the smile lines. Okay. And um, I hope this tutorial comes out well because I'm using um, a new um, recorder to record my screen for this particular tutorial. So. Hopefully it comes out well. I'm still learning how to make better tutorials for you guys. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. And like I said, the image is not too sharp, so I'm not gonna waste too much time trying to correct like all the blemishes and obviously it's not like a, a headshot so I think for this place I'm just going to use a big brush and reduce my hardness. So, reduce the size of my brush. Okay. And just go over these areas. Don't look really fix that. Fix that. Okay, that looks better now. Fix this. Um, the lines underneath her neck. It depends on you if you want to take it out. Sometimes I just feel like it. Um, so yeah. So let's see what this looks like. This the before, this the after. 
Um, I do not like the lines underneath her eyes, so I'm just going to try and sort that out. I think this one is too good. I'm just going to sort that out. Um, don't worry about how dark it looks, you know, under there right now. We're going to try and fix that with Dodge and Burn. So, so this is what the portrait looks like right now. Um, looks, I guess it looks way better than, you know. It was at first. Um, some things I still do not like here, so just right here, it's obviously just done. And right here. So yeah, this is what our portrait looks like right now. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like right now. Now I'm going to jump straight into Dodge and Burn. Um, create my Dodge and Burn layers, put them in a group, name this Dodge and Burn D and B. Um, so um, today I'm going to, you know. I'm going to dodge first. I'll set my exposure right here to three. Let's start with three and just um, work in the, the highlights. Now, if you look at this image, you notice that the, the light was coming from the right. So, I'm just going to work in. So I'm just going to turn off my right hand and turn this up. Now I can see the highlights on the chin after I turned off the free point separation. But yeah. Then I'm going to brighten under the eyes a little bit. Let's see how that looks now. Okay. Then underneath the chin right here. and see what that looks like so yeah I'm guessing this looks better I can always remove um, the dodge if I think it's too much so and that's the good thing about working non destructive so right here um, we're trying to keep this tutorial as short as possible the last one was pretty long um, yeah then the hands create this nice highlights on the hands right here too okay um, I think the dodge on the cheekbone is, is a little bit too much and how you clean that is pick your brush tool um, pick a brush tool probably set your opacity to something like one two or three um, make your brush color 50% gray and just I'll just paint over this. Paint over this. I'll just reduce it. Okay. So I think that's better now that we reduced it a bit. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing that's better now. I should do um, So, next thing, we're going to sharpen this image. I have um, a tutorial about how I sharpen, so please go watch that tutorial. Um, so yeah and we're gonna start grading the image now um, for my blacks um, now how I grade is um, I use selective color um, and some other things so first is first we're just going to use um, selective color so um, my blacks I'm going to give my science plus four right here then I'm going to give my yellows minus four okay then um, my neutrals, I'm just going to add plus one to my neutrals just to add more depth to or just to make the image a little bit more warm. Yeah, then, um, yeah, sorry, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. Um, so next is going to be channel mixer. So I'm going to use my channel mixer, I'm going to set this to 72. I'm going to set uh, my um, greens to 60. Then I'm going to set my blues to nah, minus 50. On the channel mix, I'm using the the red channel output. So then uh, my constant, I'm going to set it to two. Yes. Now um, I like how it looks on her skin, but I think it's a little bit too much. So I'm just going to take it out of her skin. So um, on the layer mask here, I'm just going to paint with the 
100% black brush. I'm just going to paint it out of the skin. So how fast is this on foot? So her skin looks really natural and um, the grade is only affecting So the grade is just affecting the the background and you know the outfits below. So yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, next is um, color balance. I, I, I like to use my, my color balance. And um, for my mid tones, uh, for my mid tones, I'm probably going to use, uh, let's, let's start with my highlights. So, my highlights, I'm going to set my reds to plus three. Then, I'm going to set my yellows to minus three. Then for my mid-tones, I'm going to set my reds to plus 3 and um, I'm going to set my yellows to minus 3. Then um, for the, the highlights, um, okay I've done the highlights, shadows are next. I'm going to set my shadows, I'm going to set it towards cyan so that's in minus 6. Then, um, I'm going to set this towards the blues, that's plus seven. Okay, great. Now you um, now you can see how, how far I've come right here. I'm just going to put all this in a group. Uh, yeah, I'll put all this in a group. And um, this is how the image looks right now. Then um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a vignette to it so that the lady or our model will be in focus. So I'll create a new layer. I'm going to go back to so create a new layer. Um, I'll fill it with black. Then I'll change it to soft light. Reduce the opacity to 50%. And um, create a layer mask. Then I'll paint my layer mask with um, a black brush just to reveal our subject. Okay, there we go. So our subject is in focus now. Then um, the next thing I'll do is I'll work with my uh, my levels. Go oh, pick my levels. Um, I'll pull in my blacks just a little bit to add more contrast to the image. Then. I'll pull in my whites. Now some places are going to be blown out but it's totally fine for the look I'm going for. So this is our image. Um, next thing I'll do is I'm going to, I think I'll create, uh, let's see what next, what next, what next. Okay, I'm just going to create the hue um, saturation layer and reduce my saturation a little bit like minus nine um, then the next thing I'll do is now I just want to add a little bit more depth to the image I want the image to look a little warm so um, I think I'm just gonna take this all the way to the top of my vignette so it's like above everything then um, I'll create a layer underneath that pick a brush tool pick a bright yellow color and just paint Right here. Then I'll set my I'll set my uh, blend modes to screen. Okay. Um, increase the size. Click OK. Uh, I'm just going to duplicate that layer and just move it a bit to the side. So. Um, more like um, I'm just trying to create something that states like that feels like there's um, a reflection um, in the background right there. Okay, I'll click OK. I think I'll just put this two in a group 
in this group and um, name it um, flares. Then I'll create a layer mask for the flares, pick a brush, a black brush and just paint that subject out of it, right? So, and then I'll just paint a little bit back into our subject, reduce my flow, just paint a little bit back into our subject. So yeah guys, this is the final image for what we've done today. I'm just going to put everything in the group and I'll show you guys the before and the after. So I'm just going to zoom into this image, make it full screen. Then I'll show you guys. So here's the before and here's the after. Here's the before and here's the after. Before and after. So this will fit into a magazine or anywhere. You do not have to use the flares at the back at the end of the day. It's just something I put in there just to give it you know a little more depth I guess but anyways thank you guys for watching my um, new video if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you like my page please subscribe and I'll be bringing a lot more videos as time goes on my name is Prince Mason you can follow me on Instagram you can follow me on Twitter you can follow me on Facebook you can follow me everywhere it's Prince Mason thank you guys thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in another video